Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. This is a case of post vitrectomy cataract with subluxation. After I inserted the CTR and intercolans and it was stable, I injected some trimsilone and there was query some bitters in the NT chamber so I did vitrectomy and decided to close the wound with 10 or nylon suture because the AC was shallow after stromal hydration. And usually post vitrectomy it's better to close the wound with the suture to maintain the pressure of the anterior chamber to prevent any more vitreous loss. It is better to reduce the magnification while doing the suturing to see the loops clearly and I usually do two forward throws and one backward then one forward and you go 90% of the depth of the cornea then you cut the ends short and I bury the knot toward the corneal side easier. This is one week post-operative, the suture is fine and AC is formed with no vitreous and pupil is rounded. How to prevent using corneal sutures is to proper wound architecture and block anesthesia, proper equipments and techniques. When to do a corneal suture when there is a complication or prolonged surgery or corneal wound burn if the patient had previous glaucoma or vitrectomy or previous radial keratotomy, LASIK, PRK or shallow AC. And techniques of wound closure stromal hydration and suturing is the most common there is other techniques as well when to remove the corneal suture when there is asymmetism or it is loose or elevated or broken and if there is an abscess or discharge from the suture if there is foreign body sensation or corneal irritation the safest and the easiest way to remove a corneal suture is to cut it flush with the cornea on the inner corneal side and I use a 23 gauge needle to cut it as shown here by the green arrow so you'll have a short end and a long end then you pull on the long end with a suture tying forceps or any non toothed forceps and you pull in the direction of the green arrow if you pull on the short end of the suture you will have a risk that the long end that is on the surface of the eye will go inside the cornea and there is more risk of infection. This is six weeks post-operative, the same case and everything is stable but there is some asymmetism from the suture so I decided to remove it to use topical anesthetic proximitacaine eye drops and povidone iodine two drops to prevent any 
infection. Then instruct the patient to look down and with the needle as described before I go flush with the cornea and cut the end. Then you will have a short end and a long end and with the suture tying forceps you pull on the long end and pull it upwards then you will have the suture it is shown here under this lit lamp and then we put topical antibiotic eye drops chloramphenicol eye drops then post operatively we give antibiotic four times for one week. Thank you for watching.